today we're very happy to meet Dr. Maria Chechochinska from the Institute of Geography, Warsaw Academy, Polish Academy of Sciences in Warsaw. Maria, I'm delighted for this opportunity to meet you. And I'd like to ask you about your geography, your background, um, and what you're interested in just now. Thank you. And um, it is rather a very long story, you see, because my way to geography wasn't a simple one. But as it happens very often, uh, I was much interested in geography, even from when I was just a small kid, because the books on geography and uh, gives such a great opportunities to understand quite uh, unknown things and to find unknown lands, continents. So, you know, it was something fascinating in it. But I was not an exception. I'm sure that just behavior almost every kid, so did I. But to me, it seems that it was something in it because at those days I had no access to other uh, opportunities to check all these things because it was time of the Second World War mm. and it was, a, it was a particular difficult time for me and as well for my, for my parents. So only books give me just this great impression of how wonderful the world is. Mm. So I have found that it was very interesting and I found that I need to know something more about it. So I was studying carefully maps, atlases, I was traveling with all heroes of my books mm -hmm. and it was very nice. But I found that it is not so easy just to, to go through the whole the world because this world is subject of very great changes mm. and it Try and it directed me to history. Mm -hmm. So I have found that just the same land, the same country, differs so much when I look at the other, another epoch, another century. And at this moment, I feel a little frustrated mm -hmm. because everything was so so complicated that it was hard to to, to understand it. To me. But you know, time was going on and my knowledge, my experience mm. became greater and I have uh, got a certain amount of knowledge how to, how to understand all these things that which, uh, which I found in books and how to understand surroundings mm. in which I was brought up. Mm -hmm. Where was that, Maria? So it was in Warsaw, in Poland, mm -hmm. and um, my parents uh, stay all the time in the same city. So I have no many experience to travel and uh, to know uh, something more about mm -hmm. even other other uh, parts of Poland, mm -hmm. because it was not a good time for for mm -hmm. uh, traveling and uh, for changing place. Yes. So it was. A, it was a particular, particular time. Uh, so my experience from childhood war just uh, com was were connected to, to this one one city, but uh, experience were rather a terrible one because uh, the home of my childhood was two times completely destroyed. So uh, I have found that. Uh, human uh, milieu, mm -hmm. environment, is a subject of great changes. It was just what I have mentioned. After when I have uh, f um, completed my secondary school, I decided uh, to, um, to be economist. Mm -hmm. uh, but mostly I was interested in social science. Mm -hmm. But in those days, it was in the early 50s, it wasn't such an opportunity to study social science because of other reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, so only economics, it was just, it seems to me quite close to my interests. And it was quite a new uh, domain, it was planning, so it seems that we can plan everything. Everybody was fascinated in planning. So it was a great belief that planning could really do a lot of things and even just to, to, to make better what all the things with which I'm not quite happy. 
During these studies, I have found that this kind of planning and this kind of economics, I'm not quite happy with it. So I switch to, to history, to social history, because I, I don't want just to be so much technical oriented. And, uh, and my, um, it was Central School of Planning and Statistics, and it was it was school, it was, it was at, th at those days equivalent to university, mm -hmm. but it was mostly professionally oriented. Uh, so it was not this field in which really I could feel quite good. So when I switch to history, I feel quite good because I can just develop my interest and uh, this, this um, line I follow. But during this study, for three years, I took courses on geography. Mm -hmm. And it was my basic knowledge. Mm -hmm. And just Professor Kostrovitsky mm -hmm. was, my, <laughs> was my professor. Mm -hmm. So it was just the first, first contact with academical geography. Mm -hmm. And he was excellent. So I am sure that even people who are not so much interested in geography Really, they wanted to to took this courses because of his personality and his way of talking to people and to presenting topics. So, <coughs> so I I did too, and it gives me really a good background of, from a geography. It, it was. What I have to say that really I was uh, much involved in this in this courses, mm. so even for the other subject I have not enough time. For, but for this one I was quite well prepared, so I was very good student. Mm -hmm. okay. So then I have found that the history is just um, it is as it as it is, so it doesn't give me such a good opportunity to to. Um, follow my other ex my other interests which are mostly mm, connected with in present day with contemporary mm. so i wanted just to be in in the middle of all these uh, things which are going on so i came back to to planning and i have found that it is interesting just to combine mm. geography planning but not economic planning not social planning, but all try, but I try all to put all the things together, and I was very happy when um, one day arrived such an opportunity that I can join a team of people who who did research on the topic of decentralization of Warsaw. Mm -hmm. So really, it was in which I was so much interested. Mm -hmm. Well, when was that? When you joined that team? What so it it, uh, it was after my um, a few years of uh, working uh, as um, um, assistant at the um, uh, history chair of history mm -hmm. at the um, Central School of Planning and uh, Economics, and then it was also after a few years of my work as uh, the head of a, a sociological um, laboratory mm -hmm. in one of uh, research institutions. And also it was after my uh, work at the Technical University of Warsaw where I was, where I, uh, were, I was a um, lecturer of um, sociology. Mm -hmm. but during all this during all this time i i was all pieces of my researches were connected with a certain part of the real world so it was also it could be warsaw or another locality so i was mostly interested to examine a certain kind of problems which are connected with, with a certain locality with a certain uh, social milieu mm -hmm. so but but it was only i was at those days only looking at it and when I start, when I joined this team, um, people who were from uh, Institute of Geography and Special Organization, so we are not only looking at these things which which we are mm, investigated, but also we we are looking at the situation before this project start and before this mm, action was undertaken, 
and also we knew what kind of uh, development are uh, foreseen yes. and we can guess what kinds of changes mm. could occur in this in this yes. uh, in this uh, um, environment mm. so you know it gives a lot of uh, opportunities for um, i think to think over and as well uh, to organize project. Yes. So it Who was are some of the names at that institute. Maybe it would be interesting to know your team members. The team members. Uh, so, uh, man who decided to organize this project was Professor Antoni Kuklejski. Yes. He was the first who started with this idea. It, this idea was quite a new one because um, it, it was state commission which was organized for this pro to, to, for this um, policy, and he decided just to give a scientific approach to all this activity, mm -hmm. and uh, he um, organized this group, and uh, this group uh, they were mostly uh, consisted of uh, young uh, people. Mm. Some of them have uh, not enough experience, but they were so keen to do new, yes. new, new things. Mm -hmm. And really we, d we did. Mm. And uh, it, it gives me a lot of experience and what's more, just a good scientific report as a book was published. Yes. So I have really a piece of satisfaction that this work was good done. This book is called? It is called uh, um, Decentralization of Warsaw, mm -hmm. 19 is 1965 uh, 70, because it was only during five years when mm -hmm. this, when this uh, um, policy was uh, implemented. Yes. So for me, it was just a good experience. Mm -hmm. Then, I started as a planner, but not planner. Uh, I never designed, but I was mostly interested in uh, planning in the macro scale. So it was uh, planning on the country, national, national yeah. level, regional level. And it, it was just sufficient for, for 15 years of my work, you know, it just it was most the field of my interest. It was not only field of my interest. It was field of field of the interest of people um, together we, you know, together with whom I was working, mm. because uh, in uh, regional planning, national planning, it's a lot of different uh, subject. So it is impossible just to be alone. Mm. So it, this situation we need just to to be in a group of interdisciplinary. Mm. oriented people and the result of our mutual works mm. are interesting. Mm. And a great influence to all of this um, project which we were carried out was um, uh, the way of understanding planning and uh, space economy, original planning, was uh, Professor Leszczycki. And at those days as well, in Poland, it was just a set of belief that uh, all plans which are prepared on the very top level and they are carefully done and then they became as an act, a state act and they are um, implemented so they have, they have to give very good results. Yes. And this period of time lasted thousand years and it was possible just to, to look at all the things in this way because we have many regions which were underdeveloped mm. so there was not a shortage of space there were no limits to the changes to the transmissions mm. so new ideas could be really implemented mm. so no so many constraints and there was no crisis. Mm -hmm. And all this and all these uh, things, all this way of thinking and solving the problems uh, collapsed in the turn of uh, 17 and 80. Uh, because of uh, our crisis, we, we call this as a crisis. But I have found uh, that it is also interesting just to look at all the things because they give us a new, a new experience uh, to uh, to the um, way of um, 
to the way of uh, looking at the problems which are connected with a space economy and regional planning. Mm -hmm. So we have found that it is not so good when we are looking only at the issue at the national national level. So we have found uh, that even what are things which are prepared on the national level, there are not there there are um, too there are too big, let us say, not adequate to all these uh, things which happened on the local level. So even there were some linkages uh, between top and uh, the bottom, but it was not not sufficient. We we have found that uh, there are so many issues which cannot be disaggregated, mm -hmm. and uh, all these global approaches uh, they ha they bring to so many deformations. So it is really very bad, mm -hmm. and this gives us a great um, experience which is also a very painful one, yes. because always for such kind of experience somebody have to pay. Mm -hmm. So we have found <coughs> that mm, space is limited and even the best projects have also their, mm, their social and economic limits. Mm -hmm. And the new ideas cannot be just put forward mm. and then insist to, 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 to implement them. Mm. But it should be done very carefully mm. because uh, space is a rare thing mm. and it is not enough, you know, for mm. such a um, kind of activity as mm. uh, transportation, as uh, human settlement. We can use any land and as mm, as, ma as much as possible, but what about other um, other um, uh, other needs like um, agriculture needs and yes. things like that? So, so you see the problem: how to arrange uh, the uh, the variety of human activity yes. in the one spot, yes. how to keep in good balance, yes. and uh, how to to find a good solution which could be good not only for man for society local society community but as well for for uh, for economy and as well for environment and what's more for the next generation yeah. but because we can spoil it and it will be nothing for the next, next generation. generation so you know it is just during my my professional life my knowledge developed, yeah. and even uh, experience—it's—it's—it's it's, it's obvious. But uh, just uh, mm. how complex these issues are, is mm. I have found it just recently. Mm. It is funny to say because it—it it takes me such a long time, mm. and all these things in which I was so much interested, mm. I have found that they are not sufficient. Yes, so yes. just uh, everything is just a complex, mm. and it it should be a systematic system approach uh, used to 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 solve not only everyday mm. problems which occur in the uh, environment. Mm. I mean environment, not only physical environment, but as well as social yes. environment, yes. because it's a really one system. Yes. But, but Maria. With regional planning in Poland, isn't it so that the work of this research team mm -hmm. is mostly on the implementation or the strategic level? Policy is established politically. Is that correct? No, it's more complicated. Okay. Because there is not a such a division. The, it, is, it seems to be that they are overlapping and sometimes there are actions which are going uh, simultaneously. Of course, okay. it, it was changes from year to year. But in my experience, there was such a period of time when we are you know, working parallel. So for our findings, our, the State Commission of Planning was waiting. Mm. And they called us why we are doing this thing so long time. Mm. So you see, it was more complicated, and then we have found that it makes no sense, because we, our targets, they are researchers, and we are not politicians, yeah. and we don't want just even to take a, um, responsibility for their politics, mm -hmm. and we want to be neutral in our research. 
Of course, some of um, people who are involved in research, they like it. It, it gives them a pleasure and really they feel quite well. Yeah. But uh, I, I belong to these people who are mostly interested in researchers and it is field of my, my interest. Mm -hmm. So of course it is, uh, I'm satisfied when I can just prepare a good project mm -hmm. where my findings out, they have a great value for mm -hmm. praxis. Mm -hmm. They show what kind of strategy could be implemented, what it should be done, what not, what are advantages, what are disadvantages. Mm -hmm. Because for politicians there, there are things which are not so important because they are involved and oriented quite in different way. Mm -hmm. So it's my job. Yes. But it's another story, you know. Yes, At this point yes. it's another story. Yes. Yeah. But now, Maria, uh, in your own training in geography, what, uh, what you told me, yeah. the Kostrovitsky course. That's yeah, geography, excellent okay. one. Was that oriented toward this regional science, regional planning, or was it a more broad it was, it was in the It was in the early 50s, as I told you. Yes. So in the early 50s, I'm afraid that nobody was, um, was thinking about regional science. And even Walter Isaac um, didn't wrote his first book, yeah? yeah? So, but it was what, what did Kostrovitsky? He gave an excellent course on classical geography. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, he um, gave an excellent basis mm -hmm. for understanding. So, it is just That's the it. most important thing. The reason I asked was because mm -hmm. I wondered if it is just Warsaw that has um, given the reputation of the Polish school as I'm afraid that no, it's not the Warsaw. Yeah. I, in, in Poland there are many university centers with a very you know, long tradition, historical yes. tradition, many centuries yes. traditions, so it isn't just an exception, yeah. not at all. I meant the reputation of the Polish school as being quantitatively oriented and regional science oriented. You see, these are the kinds of images that people have about the Polish School of Geography. I'm, afr I'm afraid that this is a simplification. Yes. Yes. yes it depends uh, on people with, uh, to whom you are, you are uh, talking. Yes, yes. Because everybody has its own image of, uh, of discipline and uh, field as well. Yes. So, you know, to me, really, why we insist to have this division, a regional approach, and geographical approach because it is useful when we are teaching. It is it is interesting just to make to make things clear. Yes. But we are do, when we are doing our projects, so we try just to integrate all these yes. different kinds of approach. There is no barriers. Yes. But for another purposes, we need to keep these barriers. Yes. So it's good just when we can uh, we, when we can educate our students in this way, then they can quite easily go through this uh, this classical um, classical uh, barriers between different speciality. Uh -huh. But so the other departments in Poland that you mentioned, these with long historic traditions yeah. and so on, do they t cultivate a different kind of geography there? Of course, of course, it depends on people who are just, uh, act actually uh, involved, because everybody has, has its own interest and let us say hobby, yeah. even within within um, uh, within a science. So uh, the stresses are not put in the equal way in the all um, academic uh, centers. So, for example, when I am teaching, uh, so. I put a great um, stress to sociological issue. I'm afraid that, that at this moment I am too much sociologically oriented. Mm -hmm. But I have found that it's good when mm -hmm. I can just prepare such a good piece of work which could be uh, published in a sociological um, mm -hmm. journal review on academic uh, level. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, the same piece of my research could be accepted by geographical review. Mm -hmm. So, you see, it shows me that it is just good because I can, I can quite easily move from one um, yes. scientific milieu to another. Yes. But I'm not sure if really it is just the point because, you know, it takes a lot of time because I, at this moment I have to organize two different workshops. 
because these these are different uh, disciplines and these people they are using different methods, tools, and things like this. Yes. And what these which are which are accepted uh, in one uh, in one media, mm. they can't be accepted in the other mm. one. Yes. But you know that we we are doing such kind of projects, which sometimes are um, we have problem with them. Because there are some academicians who, who, who don't want just to accept it. Mm. They told us that it makes no, no value to do things like this. Mm. But to me it's okay, because mm. it needs time, you know. Yes. If this project was, was really good done and it has its own value, so it, it needs time. Mm. And then in five or ten years, people yes. come back yes. and will be quoted it and yes. will be just um, d during discussions yes. or in classes just show to students, this is, you see, you yes. can just look at the things and find it how, how, how it could yes. be organized, how yes. it works. Just yes. to understand even yes. the process, yes. because it is very it is very difficult. In geography, mostly we are oriented just in the one time section, mm. and it, but it is only just like take take a snip. So mm. it is it is not enough. We we have to. It's very important, but on the other hand, we have just to look at the process, yes. how it changes in the time, to understand it better. Yes. Yes. So you bring your history interest into your geography. That but way. it, I don't. In, I don't. It was in, in country. I don't want it to do it. So it was. It okay. arrived by itself. Yes, you know. Yes. But Maria, now I'm very uh, curious about in your sociological work or mm -hmm. your sociologically oriented work. What are the kinds of main currents of theoretical background that you call on? Uh, who would be some of the authors that would be? favored amount for you in your work? Authors? So I have found that authors, it's of course I need some great uh, authority in, in, uh, in science. It's quite easy to find that it's difficult to work for a very young scholar without authority. Yes. Because to, in, to have new ideas, to invent new things, to give a fresh new look for young people is very easy. But they are not prepared to present it in an academic way. Mm -hmm. So it's, at this moment they failed. So mm -hmm. at this moment they need to be supported. They need to use support uh, big names mm -hmm. just to find that it really is so. so yeah. So it was also my case. I did it. So. I did. I did it so. But then I have found that it is only just to make a next step. But it's not the problem of development of a theoretical approach or even to 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 solve the problem, but only to prepare it for publication or for for communication for scientific communication. Mm -hmm. I have found that it is not really what I need mm -hmm. because mostly it gives me the greatest pleasure just to make things which are useful for practice, which mm -hmm. really are inside inside mm -hmm. of things which are just around me. Mm -hmm. So. I have found uh, that I have to 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 change to change the presentation of my finding out. Mm -hmm. So there, are, in, it seems to me that there are two two opportun two, two possibilities. One, just to to quote, to find uh, big names, people who are who are um, considered to be famous uh, with with big names, or just uh, to prepare. To, to, to give more work from me, but to give more empirical data and to show that it's a process that all um, elements, all factors in which I am looking at, they are working in such a way. Mm -hmm. So at this moment, I can stay alone, uh, just making use of all this, all this theoretical, theoretical, um, approaches which I know, mm -hmm. but I don't use it at that at those moment mm -hmm. because I am just presenting it in quite different background. So I organize my own workshop, mm -hmm. and I have found that there are two different things. For example, when we are presenting our um, piece of research in the congresses, conferences, and things like this. So you know, it's, there is not enough time as yes. usual, yes. and it is certain limits, space limits, yes. how many words, how many pages, things like this. So you have just to make your choice. 
just to present uh, empirical empirical mm, uh, findings out, or just to give a revaluation or to give your your input to a theoretical approach, but just to combine all these things together. So you have to yeah. write a book. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. And you have. So did I, yes. so did I. And this book is? So I have, uh, I, I have written, I wrote uh, a few books, yes. a few books. Uh, so uh, ooh, just one of them, it was on the uh, demographic problems of the Warsaw Agglomeration. Mm -hmm. And I have found uh, some uh, basic uh, regularities within the metropolitan area. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing new, but it was quite new in Poland uh, because we have planned economy and everything was arranged. Mm -hmm. uh, Warsaw was co uh, totally destroyed, mm -hmm. so it was quite new uh, city after the World War II. And I have found it just the classical, uh, classical um, differences mm -hmm. between different zones mm -hmm. and certain processes that are typical mm -hmm. even in socialist cities. Yeah. So you know. Yes. So and I have found that it is not a monolithic city. Mm -hmm. It is different. It differs mm -hmm. because different are people, different are social groups, different is society within, within. Mm -hmm. How much has history recreated itself within? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, history inf uh, influenced much. It was so interesting to find that all these places which were considered to be the place the best the, just in the time before World War II, which were, uh, in which were concentrated the privileged people, mm -hmm. just it's, it, ha it repeated Basically. after after the time of reconstruction mm -hmm. so nothing new mm -hmm. nothing new mm -hmm. even when such a great effort was done to change it you know but what about um, um, demographic uh, life cycle in the city mm -hmm. so never, nobody looked at it mm -hmm. but it has its own rules mm -hmm. which are just a neutral one mm -hmm. and we can attend it because mm -hmm. there are some social mechanism of uh, reproductions, mm. which are so strong that planners, politicians, they are too weak to change them. Too weak to change too them? Too weak them to change them, or yes, I'm the sure Polish about it. Polish people are too strong <laughs> to not change. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know if, if really we have to change them, but the problem is that on the one hand we are still claiming for equality of social tenses mm. and equality in every domain. Mm. So we have to look at our surroundings mm. and our social milieu and to know how it looks like. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. we don't want just to yes. say only slogans. Mm -hmm. So it's yes. my understanding of yes. geography. Yes. Is so I try to make correction mm -hmm. in this image which is sometimes it isn't a real image because nobody look how look how reality looks like yes, you know how images are made in our part yes, of the world and i know yes. as well how how fast they are changing yes, so, yes, yes, so my my image which i am preparing which takes me a lot of work and many years of my work mm. of my work mm. it's not one once forever it's also mm. uh, has mm. it's a historical dimension yes indeed as you look now to the f next phase of your work in planning, mm -hmm. with this sociological orientation and this comprehensive concern also, yeah. uh, what, what difference will there be? And you've learned a lot from, presumably, what didn't work in the last 15 years. Oh, yeah, what, excellent. How do, you, how do you envision now the future, future in the orientation of your work in regional planning? Yeah. So now uh, we are quite aware, it's not only my opinion at this moment, that we need planning. Even when we just resign for many things in planning during the last three years. Planning is necessary. Yeah. And planning should be reviewed. So I'm afraid that many um, theories which were adapted, they, now they don't work anymore. Yeah. Because society changes as mm. society, because it is just a transition of generations. Mm. So what was, could be accepted for the um, old generation is not accepted, not at all for the young generations, it's generation of the, the 
mm, the post-war baby boom. Yes. There are quite different people. Yes. They are well-educated, yes. broad-minded, uh, with high mm, aspiration, yes. high expectation. So, you know, it's quite different yes. people. But what sorts of theories will be guiding, will be potential So, guidance? yes, in my, yes. so it's my private opinion, so maybe that uh, I'm wrong, you know, yes, so yes. If we meet <laughs> a few years, meet, a few yes. years later, so yes. we can just yes. <coughs> yes. evaluate it. But mm. now, you know, I'm just guessing. Yes. So it's only intuition, my intuition, yes. maybe. So I have found that the thing which is very important in Poland, but not only in Poland. So it is just to go with planning at the bottom. So to start planning at the local level, at mm. the local level. For many, many years, we have believed that central planning, when it is so well done by people who do their best, who are well prepared, who have uh, good knowledge and things like this, this kind of uh, planning failed. Mm. So now, it, it can't be just uh, implemented anymore. So I have found that it's just opposite to it, local planning. Mm. But there are also limits to local planning. Of so it's, it is also a utopical idea, so now we have to define exactly local planning, okay, but to what extent and when this uh, and where this local planning should be, <coughs> should be influenced by regional at the provincial level mm -hmm. and, and, when, and when it should be influenced and the uh, top level, so national level, national yes. level. Would you but envision more discretion of decision making also for local areas? Of course it is. Mm. It is a problem of power at this mm. moment. You know, planning doesn't exist as a planning. <laughs> it is an institution. Yes. And at this moment we, we started just our discussion about a political political issue. Mm. So, so it's not a neutral thing. Mm. So it is, a, it is a problem of participation. Mm -hmm. uh, to what extent people are involved, are interested, and they are will, they will, mm -hmm. they want to do, to to, to be, to, mm -hmm. to 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 take all the things mm -hmm. in their hands, and uh, to to farm it. Mm -hmm. So it is it is the problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see, at this moment, planners I have found that uh, have very difficult position because for many years uh, they they were working quite happy in office. They prepared the different uh, plans, and this plan were accepted by authorities, and it was just sufficient. Mm -hmm. And when I'm just mm, telling uh, that local planning, so it means uh, that quite a new uh, social um, arrangement and political arrangement should be done. Yes. And just recently, it was uh, a few weeks ago, when new act on uh, territorial uh, power. So in Poland, it is a system of uh, of national council. Mm. So it is uh, it is the government at the local level was uh, put in force, and it is uh, labeled as a system of uh, territorial um, territorial uh, government uh, units. Mm -hmm. So uh, let us be a uh, great optimist uh, that really this bill could help us as a planners. Yes, I and then imagine. we can just terrorize this mm. this, uh, this experience.